Hello all, this is Courtney Hill, the Alpine Banger, coming at you guys with a user review of the Galaxy Nexus through Verizon. Uh, now this is actually my new dedicated device or daily driver. Uh, I've been using it pretty heavily for the past few days and I figured I'd give you guys a nice lax laid back, not too technical review of this phone in my personal opinions and what I use it for. Um, right now as you guys can see it's pretty bare naked, I don't have any cases for it, any screen protectors and I haven't really customized the uh, the home screens yet but overall the design elements are, are pretty pretty nice I'm, I'm a huge fan of the curved glass and the contour display it feels very ergonomic you know it, it just fits in your hand it's not like slippery it, it's a it's overall a win in the design category even though the build quality or the materials aren't up to par with say an HTC device which is what I'm, which is what I'm coming from uh, so as you guys can see the lock screen looks a little bit different from the ice cream sandwich um, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, I was going to root it, and I did, of course, and I went ahead and flashed a new ROM. This is running Vicious uh, Jelly Bean version 3. I'm going to go ahead and get into that. So you guys see it is 4.1, of course, running on the Galaxy Nexus. And let's go ahead and tap it a few times so we can get that Easter egg there. So, of course, there is an Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. You hold it down, and you get the, the Jelly Beans there, and they're actually interactive. You're able to move them around and touch them and everything so yep that's that and uh, overall other than this cool <laughs> easter egg it does have some nice elements that are incorporated into the phone and uh, one being voice search what's the weather like it's 89 degrees and partly cloudy in Majestic Park here's the forecast for the next few days How tall is Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan is six feet six inches tall. Now that is a nice demo of the voice search, Google voice search, and it is actually much more uh, capable than Siri. It's not as conversational, but it, when it comes down to hard facts, it's there. As you guys can see, I was giving it a nice speed test there with my user experience, showing you guys how fast and smooth the butter is, the Operation Butter. Uh, and here's an internet browser that I brought up. This wasn't pre-cached. I just went ahead and pulled it up and as you guys can see it's still loading and uh, it's ex I'm still able to pinch the zoom. This is the most fluid experience I've ever had on, an, on a mobile browser hands down. And um, like I was saying before with the Siri, um, I was actually watching the Philip DeFranco show a minute ago and he mentioned that it is actually 88% accurate versus the two out of three times that you're going to be uh, accurate on the Siri on iPhone. So it's actually pretty cool and then also with the notifications are a little bit different they're able to be expanded with two fingers slide up and down I keep seeing uh, in a couple video reviews of uh, what is it on phone arena where the guy keeps saying that you have to do this awkward pinch with your fingers and you don't it's just two fingers up and down I don't know why and then uh, awesome beats is actually incorporated in this ROM uh, it's actually comparable to beats by Dre uh, it gives you the functionality and equalizers so that way you can switch it up in your headset, your speaker, and also through Bluetooth. Uh, and also, there's another thing I want to use it for is Evernote. I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Evernote is my my note-taking device. Uh, it's streamed through a cloud or you know uh, storage in the in the sky or in the cloud, <laughs> SkyDrive, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is where I put down all my notations for my YouTube videos or really anything I want to jot down and never lose, um, being that it is synced. Uh, the, with the with the uh, storage over the air, so that's that. And as you guys see me going through this, it's actually extremely fluid. You know, uh, it's, it's I don't know. It a lot of the different little transitions come into play and make it make the device for me. The new transition effects that they have with Jelly Bean, it, I don't know. I just love it. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the benchmark I'm running for this device. This is without set CPU. Now this is before I overclock it. So I'm showing you guys what it's like without set CPU and uh, this is actually sped up because it took entirely too long to run this benchmark um, I don't know if it, if it was underclocked I don't know what was going on with this but it was running pretty slow um, I'm assuming maybe it's something to do with the ROM I don't know uh, because even when you get the results it shows that it's lower than um, the Galaxy Nexus stock so that's pretty questionable. Also, when this phone came out, it didn't have pretty, it didn't have really impressive benchmarks to begin with, being that it's only um, a TIO map processor, uh, dual core. It really doesn't compare to the Xenos and the Snapdragons out there. 
but I was just showing you guys what the benchmark was. It's actually pretty low in the 2000s, I believe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into, um, let me get out of this, this battery widget. I'm actually gonna go into the market and I'm gonna download set CPU and overclock the device and show you guys how I do that and then run the benchmark again so that way you guys can see what the, what the benefits of rooting the device is. Uh, and actually, I actually set up a profile so that when my screen is off, the processor pretty much stops working. It's, it, it goes down to its lowest clock speed so that way I save battery and it doesn't overheat. And overall, it's more efficient. You know, you can set different profiles for when you have it plugged in, when it's in Wi Fi, uh, when it's about to be dead. You can set different profiles to preserve your phone and ultimately customize the hardware of the device. Um, so yeah, that's that's the overall the benefit of using set CPU, and I highly recommend it. Uh, there are also other uh, apps out there, rooted device apps, that you can use to clock your CPU that may be free or cheaper, but set CPU is, does cost money. It's, I think it's around uh, 99 cents to, or $1.99. It's about one or two bucks. It's, it's not gonna break the bank, um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the maximum and the minimum at the highest clock speed and run the benchmark test once again of course i would not really use this on my day to day i keep it on conservative and i, I have my ranges set so that way it can you know uh which moderate itself so that way i can use it use the extra clock speed when i need it and it'll be low when i need it so that way i don't usually drain my battery and this is actually real time uh, this test is running real time on this time, so I'm not speeding it up, and you can see off the bat how much faster it is. Even it's running faster than the previous clip, over 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 sped up or overclocked. <laughs> I don't want to keep saying overclocked, but sped up. It's running faster than the previous one sped up. So I'll let you guys see that, and uh, let's see these benchmark tests. So right now it is. Let's see, actually. I are 3,547 above the normal Galaxy Nexus is actually a few slots below and right just below the Asus Transformer Prime which is a tablet and it's a quad core processor and like a 12 GPU chipset in there so it's actually very very substantial with the rooted uh, device uh, so it, it's a lot of benefits to rooting your device having the ultimate customization over software and hardware and uh, the task killer is very fast as you guys can see just going through it it's quick um, it has the dedicated task manager button, which is what I like, but rather than having it linked to the home screen button. Um, but overall, one thing I would say about this phone, you gotta be, you gotta manage it properly. It's all about uh, managing your syncing and your accounts for battery life, because it does, it will drain pretty quickly if you're not using it appropriately. So just manage your device properly and uh, it won't die, but I wouldn't, I would recommend getting uh, a car charger and also you may get an expanded battery just a 2200 one because the bigger one is really isn't necessary and it makes the phone look horrendous but overall it's manageable it's comparable to any other battery life on any other phone right now i'm showing you what youtube looks like this is the only time where it really takes advantage of the full 4.7 inch screen and uh, it's beautiful uh, but that's about it for me guys it's been a pleasure speaking to you as usual don't forget to subscribe comment peace